Do you work on policy issues concerning ethnic and or migrant minorities? Do you use or want to use quantitative survey research to inform this type of work? If your answer is yes, the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry may be the right resource for you. The Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry is a free, online, and user-friendly database and tool for discovering and learning about existing quantitative surveys on the integration and or inclusion of ethnic and migrant minorities. By offering detailed information, which we call metadata, about these surveys through a single access point, the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry has successfully established an international user base, welcoming on average 300 to 400 unique users every month. Moreover, as users are able to contribute their own new metadata to the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry, the list of surveys captured is actively growing. For example, when version 1.0 of the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry was launched in December 2021, it was already displaying metadata for more than 1,700 surveys from 34 different countries. Given that the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry not only covers a diverse and sizable number of surveys, but also offers rich metadata on a survey-by-survey -survey basis, it can easily be leveraged to discover and learn about surveys relevant to your policy-related work. In other words, the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry can be a great resource for aggregating existing evidence for your specific policy issue involving ethnic and or migrant minorities. For example, Claudia is a policy analyst at a think tank who specializes in human trafficking in Europe. She wants to know what kind of surveys have already been conducted in European countries that tackle the issue of human trafficking. To find such surveys, Claudia can use the advanced filtering option of the ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry. Specifically, if she selects the topic, Human Smuggling and Trafficking, the list of surveys will automatically be updated to only list surveys that have covered this topic. She can then learn more about each of these surveys by clicking on the survey name like this. For example, in this survey, she can see that it was conducted in Spain in 2006 to 2007, and the data are available, and various publications as well. She can also further refine her search parameters by selecting additional filters to use and or by conducting a keyword search. Let's look now at another example. Yang, who works for a civil society organization serving refugees. Yang's organization is interested in partnering with a research institute to conduct its own survey of refugees. Yang therefore wants to know what kind of surveys have already been undertaken with refugees for NGOs or non-profit organizations. Yang can also use the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry's advanced filtering options to find relevant surveys. By selecting NGO non-profit organizations for the main purpose of the survey, and then refugees for EMM target population with terms standardized, the list of surveys will auto-update to only display those fitting these parameters. Yang can then learn more about each of the identified surveys by clicking on the name of the survey. For instance, if Yang is particularly interested in knowing who was involved in the fieldwork, she can consult Section 7. For policymaking stakeholders like yourself, the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry can also be a great resource for showcasing surveys your organization has been involved in. In fact, you are eligible to contribute metadata for your organization's survey if it included around 200 to 250 ethnic and or migrant minority respondents. To become a contributor to the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry and have your organization's survey showcased with an international audience, you will need to complete the following steps. Step 1. Fill out an application form to request an account that will grant you access to the online form for contributing metadata to the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry. Step 2. Carefully review the conditions of use of the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry and its metadata 
to understand how metadata you contribute will be handled and used, as well as what your responsibilities are as a contributor to the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry. Once both of these steps have been completed, the administrators of the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry will be in touch via email, using the account, sshoc.project at sciencespo.fr, to share your issued account, which is a username plus a temporary password, as well as all essential training materials for compiling metadata for your survey. Once you have your issued account and are ready to contribute metadata for your survey, you will need to go to the back end of the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry and log in using your issued username and temporary password. You will then be greeted with this welcome page. You should then change your temporary password to a personal one by going to your name in the upper right hand corner and then clicking on profile. For a more detailed explanation of how to change your password, please consult video one of the video tutorial series, Backend Platform of the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry. For contributing metadata for your survey, click on Surveys, which can be found on the left-hand side of the welcome page. You will then be directed to a new page where all the surveys already captured by the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry are listed. On this page, you will find in the upper right-hand side the Create Survey button. By clicking on this button, you can access the blank online form for contributing metadata for your survey. After you click on the Create Survey button, you'll be directed to a new page called Create Survey. This page in its entirety is the blank online form that you'll need to fill out to produce metadata for your survey. We will now briefly discuss how this online form should be used. More detailed guidance can be found in video 5 of the video tutorial series, Backend Platform of the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry. This form is set up so that at the very top, you see the status of the record. Since this form is blank and you're filling it out for the first time, the status is auto-set to draft. Below the status information you'll see that all the variables for which you need to fill out responses or metadata are found on the left-hand side. Please note that next to a number of variables, you'll see a small red asterisk. Such variables are those that have been deemed essential, meaning that a response other than don't know, information not available, or not applicable, should be provided whenever possible. Next to each variable, you're provided with a field, which you need to use to fill out your response. For each field, a short help text has been provided to remind you of how to correctly fill it out. As you'll also see, the form is quite extensive and comprehensive, in fact, there are more than 200 variables that are organized into 11 different sections. This means that you will need to reserve some time to properly and fully fill out the form, roughly 30 to 45 minutes, if you have the technical documentation and questionnaires at hand. As the form does not autosave, it's imperative that you save your work at least after completing every section, or every two to three minutes. To save your work, you'll need to scroll to the very bottom of the form and click on this button. Whenever you are fully finished inputting metadata for your survey, save your work one last time, leaving the status as draft. Then take note of the unique ID issued for your survey. You will also need to confirm in writing that your metadata is ready for review by emailing the administrators of the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry at sshoc.project at sciencespo.fr with the subject line, record, with the unique ID of your survey in parentheses, ready for review. In the body of this email, please mention the unique ID of your record and the English name of the survey. Please also specify that you have read the conditions of use of the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry and its metadata, and that you agree to have your contributed metadata attributed with the CC01.0 Universal CC01.0 Public Domain Dedication License, accompanied by the following text. Our community norms, as well as scientific best practices, expect that proper credit is given via citation. Please cite both the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry and the data producers when reusing the metadata. After receiving your email, the administrators of the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry will work with you to review and validate the metadata for your survey, following an established, multi-step, and rigorous quality check process. Whenever the quality check process has been completed for your survey, 
the administrators of the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry will obtain your permission to publish the metadata, making it publicly available on the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Registry and officially part of its metadata collection. We look forward to having you leverage the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry for your next policy-related work. To learn more about the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry, including how to become a contributor, visit ethnicsurveydatahub.eu and registry, and consult our other videos.